Look, see I remember when I met you as a sophomore Started out as friends, but I knew that we would want more Hit your favorite restaurant Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel So in this video we are gonna make player jump gravity and jump So that the player can move left and right And it can also jump and there's also gravity so that player always moves down So for, for, the, for that, let's first create a script uh, Click on the kinematic body of player Attach script And just click create so first we delete uh, this entire script and then we make three variables with all export integers so we do first export int and then we do variable walk speed first so we're just gonna be oops walk underscore speed this is this will be equal to 200 and then we're just gonna make three more two more variables with export int so now we just make one more export int and then we do war gravity this will be equals to 600 so now we make one more export int and we name, name this jump force war jump force so now we have three variables with this being the gravity variable this being how far the player jumps and this being how fast the player moves so now we create one last variable and this will be war velocity so we'll just name this war velocity and this will be equals to vector 2 with parenthesis that's it so now let's now add a function that will be function underscore physics process delta so now we have this function ready so now we'll do so that the gravity works every process in the physics process so we'll just name this as velocity dot y equals sorry plus e we have to do plus equals gravity into delta gravity into delta now we have the gravity function working so now let's create the moment script so we'll do if input dot is action pressed UI left UI underscore left then we do velocity dot x equals minus walk speed so what this function does is if we press the input right arrow key left arrow key it's gonna make the velocity go in the left direction which makes the player go in the left direction so we just copy this script and paste it one more time so now to UI left we change this to UI right so the player now can move uh, can move in the right direction and I just change the minus sign and just delete the minus sign so now we have the left and right function working but the player won't stop if we just keep pressing the player won't just stop so to stop it we just do else we are gonna do velocity.x equals lerp velocity.x 0 0 0.1 so what this does is whenever we try to stop the player it stops smoothly and it doesn't stop so there's no choppiness it doesn't stop suddenly so now we make the last function so that the player can actually move we just do velocity equals move and slide we're gonna do velocity and vector 2 dot up so we just have now this is gonna make the player actually move and slide in the scene and we just create one more function for jumping and we'll just do that so just do if input input dot is action pressed so yeah just you have to do just pressed for this just pressed the ui up for this we'll do ui up then we're gonna do velocity dot y equals minus jump force so the velocity always goes upward direction it doesn't go downward direction that's why you do minus jump force so now we're done with the script so now let's go to the 2d scene to the world scene i've already instanced the player player child to the world node and now we just make a child node and we name that a static body a static body we just ask, uh, add a static body then we create a new sprite and inside static body we create one more uh, child node collision shape 
so now we just uh, give the sprite a uh, icon dot png and then we uh, make the collision shape so we just do the collision shape rectangle and match it with the layer uh, i'm just gonna use this so it's easier but you can match it with your skills rename the static ball to floor now we are gonna uh, keep the floor so it's down of player so now as you can see when I try to move the floor instead of floor the collision shape is going down so how to fix that is first you do control Z and then you press the floor node and select this option so it makes sure that the children uh, object children is not selectable you press that and now now as you can see the entire node is coming down but not only the collision shape so you put this down a player and just change this transform to 20 so we have a nice platform ignore how stretch it looks so now we are actually done with the script now let's try to play our game so as you can see the move left and right works and you can see that it's a bit smooth whenever we are trying to move left or right so it's, it's here now if you want you can press UI up and the jump function also works but as you can see it jumps a bit higher to change this value you can just change it in the editor we go to the weekly player node and you can just change the jump force from here from 500 to 400 you know let's just change it so you can see the beautiful principle difference so now if you jump as you can see the jump actually became a bit smaller and it doesn't jump as high as it was jumping before so thank you for watching the video please consider subbing and liking See you in the next one. I'll just show you more.